Garmin's Emergency Auto Land is an advanced system that provides automated guidance, communication, and aircraft configuration changes to land an airplane in case of pilot incapacitation. And just with any system installed in an aircraft, it's important for pilots to know how the system functions. Knowing how the system is activated, what to expect when the system is activated, and how to deactivate the system is critical. You must also understand that systems may need to be reconfigured following deactivation. In this video, we'll discuss operation of a generic system. So keep in mind that you will need to review the pilot's guide and AFM for the aircraft to gain full understanding of the system as installed. Emergency Auto Land can be activated either manually or automatically. Manual activation is performed by pressing a discrete activation switch, which may be mounted on the ceiling of the passenger compartment or on the instrument panel. Take note that these discrete switches cannot be used to deactivate the system. Automatic activation may occur based on two different scenarios. First, following a cavern depressurization event, when there's a lack of pilot interaction with the system, emergency descent mode will activate. Once arriving at a manufacturer-designated altitude, typically between 14,000 and 15,000 feet MSL, Emergency Auto Land will activate. The second scenario under which Auto Land will automatically activate is when Level Mode has been active for a time period designated by the airframe manufacturer, usually between 60 and 120 seconds. Level Mode activates automatically as a result of Electronic Stability and Protection, or ESP, having been active for a designated time period, indicating that the pilot is either incapacitated or disoriented. Level Mode may also be manually activated by selecting the LVL button on the mode controller. Note that on certain airframes, manual selection of level mode will not initiate emergency auto land after the waiting period. Again, be sure to review the emergency auto land section of your pilot's guide and AFM to ensure your understanding of how the system will activate. On certain airframes, emergency auto land will engage immediately upon activation. Other airframes may have a pre-engagement mode that allows for deactivation before Autoland becomes fully engaged. This pre-engagement mode lasts between 10 and 15 seconds based on airframe manufacturer specifications. During this pre-engagement period, you can cancel full engagement of Autoland by pressing the AP disconnect button on your flight control or the AP button on the mode controller. This prevents configuration changes from occurring. Once Autoland is engaged, the autopilot will engage in level mode, and you will see a notification on the PFD, MFD, and GTCs. This will be accompanied by an oral announcement such as Emergency Autoland Activating, followed by other information for the passengers. Once the landing airport has been selected by the system, Autoland clears your existing flight plan and inserts a route to the emergency landing airport. The autopilot then engages nav mode to follow the new route and manages climbs and descends as needed. The radios automatically tune to 121.5, the transponder code changes to 7700, and automatic communication broadcasts begin to alert other traffic and ATC that you have an emergency and state's intentions. Aircraft November 60, Hotel Lima, pilot incapacitation, 17 miles west of Kilo, Charlie, Lima, Mike, emergency auto land in 7 minutes on runway 08 at Kilo, Charlie, Lima, Mike. Auto land will also manage the aircraft configuration as needed to be in an appropriate configuration for approach and landing. And this includes adjusting the altimeter setting to appropriate barometric pressure settings. If the pilot is eventually able to resume flying the aircraft after deactivating auto land, the aircraft will need to be reconfigured. More on this in a minute. As already mentioned, on some airframes, it is possible to cancel activation prior to full engagement of emergency auto land. Once fully engaged, 
It is still possible to deactivate the system by pressing the AP Disconnect button on your flight control or by pressing the AP button on the mode controller. Once either button is pressed, you will hear Emergency Auto Land Deactivated. Following deactivation from the fully engaged mode, you would control the aircraft using the PFD display, which will be in reversionary mode. The MFD will continue to display passenger information for one minute with instructions on how to re-engage Autoland in case it was deactivated unintentionally. After the one minute waiting period, the MFD will be restored to the normal MFD display, as will the PFD. Following any deactivation of Autoland, you may re-engage the autopilot to continue normal flight if desired. Now it's time to check the aircraft for configuration changes that may have occurred due to activation of emergency Autoland. Verify the altimeter setting. It may have been altered by the system. You can ask ATC for a local setting or obtain it yourself by listening to a local airport weather broadcast. Verify the actual flap position and, if needed, move the flap controller to agree with that position. Then set the flaps to the appropriate position for the phase of flight. Verify the actual landing gear position and move the gear handle to agree with that position. Then set the gear to the appropriate position for your phase of flight. If planning to re-engage the autopilot, select Heading Mode and an appropriate vertical mode, and then enter your flight plan for continuation of the flight. Once you have your flight plan entered, select Nav Mode, along with an appropriate vertical mode. Re-enter your assigned transponder code, as it will have been changed to 7700 by the system. Check the active and standby frequency fields for COM1 and COM2, and reset as needed. And finally, communicate with ATC to inform them that the flight is no longer in emergency status and state your intentions. Emergency Autoland is a highly capable system that has the potential to avoid undesirable outcomes in emergency situations. But just as with any system, failing to understand how it operates could lead to unfortunate results. We hope that this video has provided insight for operation of this advanced safety system. But keep in mind that features of the system will differ by aircraft model. You will still need to review the pilot's guide and AFM guidance for your aircraft to develop full understanding of emergency auto land system behavior in your aircraft. Some key points to take away from this video are, Autoland is a function of the autopilot system. It disengages the same way you disengage the autopilot normally, by pressing the AP disconnect button on the flight control or the AP button on the mode controller. The pre-engagement mode, a feature on certain airframes, allows for canceling inadvertent or undesired activation of the system before configuration changes occur. If deactivating auto land once full engagement of the system has occurred, conduct an aircraft configuration review and make changes as needed for continued flight. Thank you for investing your time in learning more about the Garmin Autoland system, and thanks for buying Garmin.